Good morning and welcome to part 8 of our VPC playlist. So in today's video, we are going to learn that what are NET gateways. NET gateways stands for Network Address Translation Gateway. So let's start. So now let's start with NET gateway. So first of all, let's see that what is a NET gateway and why actually we need a NET gateway. So a NET gateway is a network address translation service. You can use a NET gateway so that Instances in your private subnet can connect to services outside your VPC which you have created. But the external services which are outside your VPC cannot initiate any connection with your private inst instances which you have created in your private subnet. So in previous video, we have learned that what are net instances. So in net, in through net instances, we were SSA, we were doing SSH into our private instance. Right? So this is the same way, but here we are using the net gateway, which is more simpler and easier. So net gateway has higher availability, higher bandwidth and no administration. You need to pay per hour for bandwidth usage. So net gateway is not a free service provided by AWS. It is a chargeable service. So whenever you create a net gateway and your work is over, then you have to destroy that net gateway. Otherwise, you have to pay for it. You have to pay for it per hour for your bandwidth usage. It is created in a specific availability zone and it uses elastic IP address. So it is created in a specific AZ and it uses elastic IP. So we have to create it and we have to attach that IP to our net gateway. It cannot be used in EC2 instance within the same subnet. Okay, the next it requires an internet gateway. So if you want to create a net gateway, you have to create an internet gateway for it also. So the bandwidth starts from 5 Gbps and it can be auto scaled up to 45 Gbps. And in net gateway, we do not require any security groups while when we were using the net instances, then we were using security groups. So there are many difference between the net instance and net gateway. We will see that in further video. So now let's see the working of our net gateway. So here is the region and in the region we have created our VPC. This is the same internet gateway image. So, in the VPC, we have two different subnets. One is the public subnet and one is the private subnet. So, first of all, when we had created an internet gateway, we, we were having our public instance in the public subnet. So, we are connecting it to the internet gateway through the router and we have to edit the route table here. Then only the public in instance can be connected to the internet. Now, here in the previous video, we have learned that how to connect private instance to internet using using net instances so now here we are going to see that how to connect our private instance to internet using the net gateway net instance and net gateway are same they both perform same things but net gateway is more simpler and more easier so here we have a private subnet and in the private subnet we have a security group and we have created a private instance in our private subnets. So we want to connect this private instance to internet. So here we are going to use the net gateway. So we will create a net gateway and it will be connected to the router and router will be connected to the internet gateway here. And then it will be connected to the internet. So here also we have to we have a router router table and then the private instance will be connected to the net gateway and the net gateway will be connected to the internet gateway and the internet accessibility will be available for our private instance very easily so now let's talk about net gateway with high availability so if you want a net gateway with high availability then what you should do is net gateway is restricted within a single availability zone only so you can create a net gateway in one single availability zone if you want to create multiple net gateways in multiple az for 
fault tolerance you can do that so you can create multiple gateways in different multiple availability zones for the fault tolerance there is no cross availability zone failover needed because if an availability zone goes down it doesn't need net gateway so now let's talk about difference between net gateway and net instances so as we know that both work similarly but there are some differences in both of them right in net instances we have to create instance and in net gateway we create a gateway so let's talk about the features and difference between the net gateway and net instances so first of all the feature is managed by so net gateway is managed by of course aws and net instance is managed by the person who has created it so yes we have to create a net instance in our aws only but the management of it has to be done by the user itself who has created it right it can so next feature is created in so net gateway is created in the public subnet and of course net instance is also created in the public subnet only then we have the feature of internet gateway so internet gateway is required in net gateway and of course in net net instances also internet gateway is required high availability so in net gateway we have high availability right multiple azs higher availability because we create multiple net gateway in multiple availability zones so that so that's good and that's highly available and for net instance high availability you are responsible means the person who has created the net instance is responsible for the availability of net instance then the feature is bandwidth so net gateway can be auto scaled up to 45 gbps and in net instance the bandwidth depends on ec2 instance type public ip addresses so in net gateway elastic ip addresses are used and in net instance elastic ip or public ip can be used the next feature is to disable source destination check so if you remember in previous video in net instances we had disabled the feature or we can say we had disabled the setting of source destination check so in net instance you have to disable that but in net gateway you, you don't require that setting then we have security group so in net gateway no specific configurations are needed in the security groups but in net instance we need a specific security group the last is bastion host servers so in net gateway we don't need any but in net net instance it can be used as a bastion server if you want to use then you can use in net instance video i had we had created a bastion host also and then we have ssh into our private instance through the jumping server which is called as bastion host so this are the main difference of net gateway and net instances so now let's move on to the hands on of net gateway let's create it and let's see the demo of it so in previous video we had learned that how to provide internet access to a private instance using the net instance right we have created the net instance and we have provided the net or you can say we have provided the internet access to a private instance using the net instance but as we know now that the internet can be easily provided by the net gateway also to a private instance so now we are going to stop this net instance and we are going to create a net gateway and provide the internet access to our private instance through the net gateway so first of all here we have to stop our net instance so click on it and go to the instance state and click on stop instance let's wait till the instance is stopped so now our net instance is stopped successfully so now we are going to just check that we are able to get the internet or not yes of course we are not give, able to get any internet access in our private instance though let's clear it once so let's go to the bastion host and connect it so here we are in our private instance right we can see that id here which is 10.0.19.35 and this is also our private instance right so let's do ping here so we will do ping.google.com and we are not able to get any packets here so we are not able to access the internet through our private instance as we have stopped our net instance we can also call here we can say that call google.com 
and we will not get any response right as we are not having any internet access here so now we have to provide internet to a private instance using the net gateway so now let's go first of all let's go to the root table and check our root table first so let's go to the vpc console and here are the root table so let's refresh it and let's wait till it gets refreshed okay so we are able to see your two rules right we had passed this rule in our net instance but as we have stopped our net instance now we are able to see the status as a black hole right we do we have stopped the instance so the status is back black hole so now we have to create a net instance net gateway sorry so let's go to the net gateway part so here is the net gateway click on it and here we want to create our very first net gateway so first of all let's filter out our vpc we are going to choose our demo vpc which we have created we have not created any net gateway yet net gateway is a build service so whenever you use it and your use is over of your net gateway then you have to stop it so first of all let's create one new net gateway so click on create net gateway let's name it as demo net gateway right now we are going to add a subnet in it or we can say we are going to choose a subnet in it so we are going to choose a public a subnet so here is our public a subnet so click it and of course connectivity would be public for net gateway we have to allocate a elastic ip so we have to click on allocate elastic ip so it will allocate the elastic ip right so the elastic ip is allocated so let's see we have elastic ip which is allocated so now let's go further down and if you want to remove the tags you can remove it but as per now i am not removing the tag right so now let's create the net gateway let's click on create a net gateway and let's wait till the net gateway is created so now our net gateway is available right before it was in pending mode so our demo net gateway is now available so now let's go to our root table and edit our private root table so that the traffic can be sent to our net gateway and the private instance can get the internet access so select the private root table here and go to the roots and click on edit roots so your before we had send any traffic excluding the cidr block ip traffic to our net instance now we don't want the net instance we want the net gateway so whatever traffic comes has to go to the net gateway so here is a net gateway we have to select our net gateway which we have created which is demo net gateway so click on it and whatever traffic is going to come is going to go in our net gateway and our private instance will get internet access through this so click on save changes and let's add the rule here now both the rules and the status of both the rules are active right because we have a net gateway so your status is now active and not a black hole so now let's go to our ec2 instance and let's again ping here let's see that we are able to access the internet from our private instance or not so let's do ping here yes we are able to access the internet very easily just using or just creating one net gateway and we have just edited one root in our private root table so that's very easy compare comparison to the net instance in net instance we have to change we have to add the security group we have to create the internet gateway but here we don't need anything we don't need even the internet gateway we don't need to change any security rule we just need to create a net gateway and we have to edit our uh, routes in our private root table and we are able to access the internet so let's do curl also here in say curl.google.com sorry curlgoogle.com and here we are getting the response of curlgoogle.com right we can also install anything we want here you can say yum install uh, sudo install yum or whatever you want to install you can install 
so this is how you can provide internet access to your private instances using the net gateway this is a very easy way to provide the net uh, internet to our uh, private instance though it costs us but it is a very easy way so that's how you can provide the internet to your private instance using the net gateway so that's it for the video meeting you in the next video